Hey guys, what's up? Rolf Corinne here. In this class, we're gonna teach you this pattern. It looks like this. Th this pattern. This pattern? This pattern. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like this. One, two, three, and four, five, six. Bam, bam, bam. Huh. Yeah? Cool, huh? It looks cool, huh? So this pattern is it is initiated by Karen. I was pronouncing it with the Hebrew, Hebrew, the Hebrew accent. Karen, it's initiated by the follower because I'm just leading a basic whip. Then she does something, and then I have to react to that because she just boom creates something new. We call that action and reaction. And normally it's the leaders creating all that the action, right? I'm 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 creating an action. I'm leading her here, and then she's reacting to that. But now we flip it. So normally when we talk about action, reaction, it's a little bit more that the, the follower takes a little initiative. So this is one example of that. We have a, a, a lot of other examples on it, but we're gonna focus on this pattern today. Yeah? Yeah. So it starts off as a basic whip, and then the follower takes it on count four. Yeah, usually followers, it will be hard for us to steal something or create something from close position because we're like locked inside yeah. and we don't want to bother the, the close position, but right. from whip we can do a lot of cool stuff. So this is one of them. Let's right. do whip and stop on four. So basic whip, stop on four. One, two, three, and four. So on the four, instead of stay with my left hand here, I will prepare my arm up. I will take my left arm up to say my leader, to tell my leader, okay, ready, I'm going to do something. Yeah? So, so let's do it again. On the four, when you're shifting your weight back, don't shift the weight back like you normally do. Stay split weight, split weight and lift your left arm. Let's right? do it again. Because normally, as, as a leader, I'm expecting a, a, a weight, a stretch on the four. If we just do a normal one right before we get into that, so we do one, two, three, and four. So in a normal whip, we're both staying on our leader's right and then follower's left leg. We, we haven't shifted our weight onto mm -hmm. the other leg. So that is the, the, the feeling I'm expecting. But now when Corinne is about to change that, she also doesn't give me that, that normal stretch. So I feel like, okay, something is different, something is changing, yeah? So let's do it. On the four, don't shift your weight back. Stay split weight and lift your left arm. Yeah. Go one, two, three and four, yeah? From here, I have this window. I wanna go in, I wanna go inside. So, I'm, I will take my left arm and I will take it in, in, and I will take my head together. So I have left arm and my head, I'm going inside together and I will open my left arm, yeah? When I'm doing it, I will always uh, also use my left leg. So I have left arm, left leg, I will do it together. From here, I will take my left arm, left leg together with my head and I will go out. So if I'm doing it alone, when I'm here with my right leg uh, forward, I have four, from here I have five. I will do it from here. This is the four, right leg forward, and on the five, this is the four, right? From here, I have five. I will do it from here. This is the four, this is five. It's, it's kind of a wave. I'm taking my head inside, yeah? So let's let, do it. Let, do it one more, walk it all the way through up until five, just by yourself, so the followers can, can do it with you, because it's really fast. Yeah, okay, I will do it from here. Yeah. So we have one, two, three, and lift, and five, yeah? yeah? Again from here, one, two, three, and lift, go in five. Up underneath, yeah? yeah? So on the five, I'm sending my left leg straight and my right leg or bend. Right. Yeah, so leaders, we're, we're responding to that, right? So the number, the, the first hint, the clue that we get is that, okay, I don't get the tension I'm expecting on the four, like a normal whip. So that means that I become more observant. I become more aware of what she's about to do. So right as I don't feel that, I go, whoop, what are you, what are you up to, right? Um, in, in a good way. So as, as I see her popping her hand and then going for her head, that it feels very natural to just open up. So that would be opening up leaders our right hand, just making that window bigger. We don't want to make it harder for her to, to get through. We just want to open up and be, and be ready, yeah? 
Yeah, so let's do it again. Stop on five. We have four, five go in, go. One, two, three, and four, go in five. I have two points of connection on my left arm. I have here connection. Yeah. And my right arm, I have connection on my leader's body. Just watch it from here. This is another point of connection. So yeah. I have one point, second point here. Yeah, you actually yeah. have one and two. You actually, we're actually holding the hand too. So it's not only the, the connection in the left hand, which feels like a weak sugar tuck, but it's, yeah, like you said, in the arm, her right bicep and also this side, yeah? Yeah, just make sure also when you're standing here that you're fit, like turn out. Turn you know, out. We're not yeah. uh, parallel or turning. Just make sure you turn out. Let's do it, Let's do it uh, again. Stop on five. One, two, three, and lift. Five in, React create leaders. two points of connection. Yeah. Leaders for that five, I'm just reaching with my right leg. I'm not split, I mean, I'm just reaching here. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna take it, just look what it looks like. We're gonna take it over and around, turn, find the slot, bring it back and lead. So from that point, I feel I have some sort of tension in the chest and also in the left arm and also on the right hand. So I'm going, actually gonna lead using both of those. I'm gonna lead rotating my body with the, the tension on her right hand and also on the left hand and I'm gonna just make her turn, yeah? So that is what I'm doing to create the turn. What's a little bit different is that I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm gonna turn her, but instead of holding the hand like I normally do in front of me, I'm actually gonna take it behind my head. So I'm gonna take that because if not, it would have to be behind Corinne's head and that wouldn't be as comfortable for her. And it's nice leaders to, to take care of our followers, yeah? So if we were here on the four, three and four, and then pop under for five, just again, leaders just reaching with our right leg. And then we turn. And again, taking this behind your head so it doesn't have to be behind her head. Taking it here. In this point, my, my right hand is uh, on Corinne's left bicep. My forearm is connected to her back like this. And then we have another point of connection, which is uh, my left hand, her right hand, which is behind the head. And we're both just like opening up a little bit. We, there should be a nice tension there so that we can ride it around and do that stuff, yeah? Kind of uh, compression. It, it, we have it's compression a slight, here. slight compression, yeah. Just experiment a little bit with that so you, you make sure that you have it here. You can play with adjusting where you have your hand. I find it's most comfortable. My hand like this on her bicep. I don't like to gri grip around the arm, but I'm just hooking the thumb around like this. And then from here, you can just play around, try to walk it around like this, just in circles, staying within that compression. And then when you feel this is really uh, awkward, just walking like this, then you can stop, yeah? So, let's, um, let's, uh, let's do it again. Let's try to do it uh, walking through it. So let's stop on five. Followers, you're popping through for a one, two, three, and four, and five. Now we're turning. Remember, leaders, left hand goes behind the back. Five, six, and then we're turning. Now, we're gonna turn 180 degrees. So when I know that I'm facing the slot like that, then that means that Corinne is facing the slot the other way. Let's uh, do it again. This, we need to be a little, a little further away, so it's easier for you to see. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. We want to get to this position. We're just going to ride it around, finding the slot. At this point, I'm going to give Corinne a little bit of space, which is going to cause her to come a little bit more forward and then we're gonna get back into the slots. I'm gonna give her a little more space, pulling her a little bit back like that, and then just leading something down the line. Mm -hmm. It is the same type of exit that we do when we're exiting a ride, yeah? So if we'd let a, let a ride, bam, bam, we just did a ride. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna find the slot, send her away, and then get it down um, to find the slot, yeah? So it's like giving a little bit of space, the follower fills it, and then I'm just gonna stay in connection and cross around her. Let's walk it, let's try to do that all the way through. So, we're going one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, yeah? From here, we're turning 180 degrees, bam, bam, bam. When you're here, give her space with your right hand, giving her space like that, giving her space, crossing in front, and then leading something from from that, 
just getting back into the West Coast swing because this is a little more of a creative pattern, right? Yeah, followers. In this case, <coughs> that your partner decided to do the turn after your uh, action part, your steps. When I'm here after the five, and he decided, he decided to 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 turn to do the turn. I'm I'm bending my left leg. I want to turn on my left leg. So bend your left leg and straight your right leg. So I'm not moving my right leg. I'm staying in the same spot, same spot. From here, I have bent leg and right leg straight. From here, I'm lifting a bit my right leg and actually I'm doing the turn when I'm using only my left leg on the floor. Let's do it again. This was the four. This is where this was the five. Five. I'm shifting my weight a bit to my left leg, bend your left leg, and straight your right. From here, I'm doing the turn. Yeah, so lift your, uh, your right leg, bend your left. Yeah, then we're riding it around for 180. We're only doing 180. Boom, 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 giving her space. Step Pulling back. her back. Rock then and you maybe you get into a, a free spin, inside turn, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could also, if you wanted to, after that turn, instead of only doing a 180 ride, you could keep going circular. Maybe if you felt like the music was saying that, then you could do it. So that would look something like this. She pops under, boom, and we keep going like this. It would be the same exit, like just finding the slot and then coming out of it and then doing something. Uh, so that is something to, to, to play with. It's just extending the pattern as you wish to it. Yeah, um, followers try to try to steal more. <laughs> it, it, it's really cool, uh, uh, cool pattern, cool, cool way to steal from whip. You should try. It. You know, I, I really like the feeling of it because the followers are are adding on to the dance. Sometimes when we're leading leaders, we just feel like, oh, I'm I'm, I'm so tired of my own patterns. I do the same thing all the time. So it's a nice, nice, nice breath of fresh air when the followers like, boom, react to this, and they're like, oh. It's also good, good to, I think, to practice this, this reaction stuff because sometimes the follower does something and you're just stuck there, you're like, yeah, that's cool. You just end up, she, she does this, three and four, she pops under and you're like, By the way, if they're not cool. doing anything, you should turn yourself. So turn yourself <laughs> inside and go out. Yeah, maybe the leaders won't put it behind the back, but <laughs> yeah. just, yeah, play with that. I would say though, if it's like the biggest phrase change of the song and the leader is like, mm, I'm focused, I'm ready, starting to, to change it up, he's like building a whip, maybe not do it right before the phrase change. Hopefully the leader has a plan and uh, it might be a little bit hard to be put on the spot right before the big phrase change to like, oh, I gotta change something and oh, this is new territory, yeah. So maybe just like, maybe not right before the phrase, but other part, go for it, I love it, yeah? yeah. All right. Good luck, followers. Any final comments except good luck? Um, no. Be brave. Be brave. Be brave. <laughs> be brave. <laughs> All right, guys. See ya.